Artificial scarcity is a term often associated with capitalism, where goods or services are deliberately made scarce despite technology or production methods existing that could easily create an abundance. It's basically a way for capitalists to make more money. 10 cent photographs. I rarely have to print out photographs as I'm quite happy looking at pictures on my laptop or mobile phone. However, occasionally a situation arises where I have to print some out. The other day, my son's kindergarten requested that we print out some pictures of the Easter holidays. I didn't realize that I would be experiencing artificial scarcity firsthand. I noticed that Kmart were advertising 10 cent prints, so I went there. I had seven photographs to print, so I was expecting to pay 70 cents. Makes sense, right? However, the lady at the counter told me that if I wanted the photographs now, I had to pay double that, $1.40. Okay, how do I get the 10 cent prints? I asked. She said, if I was happy to wait one hour, I could pay 15 cents each for a total of $1.05. Again, I asked, what about the 10 cent prints? She told me that I would have to wait 24 hours to get them for 10 cents each. I wouldn't have been too concerned if the staff were super busy. However, there were almost no customers there, being late on a Saturday afternoon at all. And apart from myself, nobody was in the photo section. I saw on the girl's face that she thought the whole situation was completely ridiculous. I loaded up my photos and could see that I was the only order on the computer next to the printer. I could also see a big printer button ready to be pressed. She literally only had to push a single button and I would have had my photos. But in order to do that, Kmart dictated that I had to pay double the price. I completely understand what Kmart are trying to do. They figure that most people would just throw up their hands and go, okay, I'll pay double the price. I can't be bothered coming back tomorrow. I didn't do that, however. I saw an advertised price of 10 cents and that's what I was set on paying. I'm not going to be tricked into paying more just because of some Kmart created artificial scarcity. Yeah, I know it sounds petty, but it's a symptom of a much bigger problem. We've got to stand up against these ridiculous capitalist scams. Although Kmart got my money this time, all 70 cents of it, what they didn't count on is that I won't be going back. Yeah, sure they get some short term gains, but if they piss people off in the process, they ultimately lose customers. Capitalism is efficient. Capitalists will always harp on about the efficiency of capitalism. It's a complete lie as shown by my Kmart encounter. Efficiency isn't the goal. Profit is. If efficiency gets in the way of profit, well, bye-bye efficiency. Kmart could easily have printed my photos immediately, but they didn't. Why? Because they wanted an extra 70 cents from me. Artificial scarcity can be seen in many other markets. Software, once made, can be distributed at virtually zero cost, but yet the likes of Adobe and Microsoft insist on people paying a fortune for their software packages and licenses. Basically, capitalism needs artificial scarcity. Without it, capitalism would not exist. Think about it. Imagine if food was given away on every street corner. Who would go and pay for food anymore? Nobody, of course. Turning artificial scarcity into abundance. There is an answer to all of this, a resource-based economy. Instead of robber barons hoarding wealth and forcing the common man into debt and servitude, we should be encouraging a system where the necessities of life are available to all who need them. Abundance should be the goal. With a simple policy change, Kmart could easily provide photographs to all who need them. But they wouldn't do that, of course, because their shareholders would flay them alive. Scarcity and capitalism go hand in hand. If we ever want to get rid of scarcity, capitalism must go. Here's a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. Capitalism does not permit an even flow of economic resources. With this system, a small privileged few are rich beyond conscience, and almost all others are doomed to be poor at some level. That's the way the system works. And since we know that the system will not change the rules, we are going to have to change the system.